Welcome dear students, we are on the CEC Gurukul lecture. We are in the series of the electronic circuit and we discuss the many components which are used in the electronic gadgets and uh, we discuss how we will use, how many types of electronic gadgets are. Now in this series, now we will discuss one of, one of the important component that is a potentiometer. Potentiometer is also a, a gadget which is used in a electronic circuit which can, which can be used to increase and decrease the volume or just to change the resistivity, just to change the voltage then we use this potentiometer. So now we will discuss what is a potentiometer. Potentiometers and the rheostats create a change in their resistive value when it is connected to the shaft and is physically rotated. So this uh, the, you on the screen you are seeing that this type of uh, um, the potentiometer and the rheostat we will use and it is in the shaft. So rheostats provide a fixed value of the resistance that blocks or resist the flow of electric current around the circuit as well as it produces a voltage drop in acceptance uh, as the Ohm's law. Now resistors can be manufactured to have either a fixed resistive value in the ohms or as potentiometer which can be adjusted by some external means. Nowadays the potentiometer are much smaller and much more accurate than those earlierly large and the bulky variable resistances we used. And as with the most electronic components, there are many different types of the name ranging from the variable resistance like uh, registers, presets, trimmer, rheostat and the variable potentiometer. It means potentiometer, we can vary the value in the potentiometer. So these are the names which are, which are used to, uh, to call the rheostat. Now, but where, whatever their names, these devices are function in the exactly the same way as their output resistance value can be changed or varied by the movement of a mechanical contact or we can say it is a viper given by the some external action means we just put the shaft on it and we move this shaft and we change the value. Now you see on the screen that there is a symbol 1, 3 and 2 in between that that is and you see uh, 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 on the upper diagram you see that there is a construction of the potential meter and it is having the wiper and it is having the resistive track on which this 2 the value of 2 the shaft will wiper will move and lugs are the uh, lower part that is the third one. So variable resistors in whatever format are generally associated with the some form of control whether it is adjusting the volume of the radio or the speed of the vehicle, frequency of an oscillator or accurately setting the calibration of the circuit. In a single term and in the multiple turn potentiometers, trim pots and the rheostats find many uses in everyday electrical items. So the term potentiometer and the variable registers are often used together to describe the same component. But it is important to understand that the connections and the operation of the two are different. So, however, both share the same physical properties in that of the two ends of the internal resistive tracks are brought out to contacts. In addition to a third contact connected to a movable contact that is a slider or that is the wiper. So we discuss what is a potentiometer and what is a variable register. So first what is a potentiometer when used as a potentiometer connections are made to both the ends as well as at the wiper. The position of the wiper then provides an appropriate output signal that we having the pin 2 in between the pin 1 and 3 which uh, which will vary between the voltage level applied to the one end of the resistive track that is pin 1 and the pin 3. 
now you see on the screen that here is a pin 1 and pin 2 and 2 is the v out it is showing in the uh, diagram v in and o, o 0 volt and here you see resistive elements in between that the symbol is on the upper side that that, that show the potentiometer is a 3 wire resistive device that act as a voltage divider producing a continuously variable voltage output signal which is proportional to the physical position of the wiper along the track. Now you see that this position 2 will move accordingly and it will give the variable output. But in the variable uh, resistors when we use a variable resistor connections are made to only the one end of the resistive track either it may be on the one pin or it may be on the third pin and the wiper uh, the position of the wiper is used to vary or change the amount of effective resistance connected between itself the movable contact and the stationary fixed end the sometimes it is appropriate to make an electrical connection between the unused end of the resistive tracks and the wiper to prevent the open circuit condition. The variable resistance in the two wire resistive device that uh, provides a infinite number of resistance values controlling the current offered to the connected circuit in proportion to the physical position of the wiper along the track. Here you see on the screen that resistive element is here and the, uh, the connection is only with the uh, 3 and 2 and that output current output will we will take. So, variable resistor is the 2 wire resistive device and provides an infinite number of resistance values by controlling the current offered to the connecting circuits which is in proportion to the physical position of the wiper along the track where we will move that will control the current. Now, no we, we know that uh, variable resistor used to control very high circuit currents found in the lamp or motors loads which are called the rheostat where we move this that is a rheostat sometimes you just call the variable resistance. Now, we discuss the uh, as, as we are discussing the topic which is the potentiometer. So, we will discuss what is the what is the use of the potentiometer and uh, what is the potentiometer that we will discuss. So, potentiometer is an electronic device that measures the EMF that is the electromotive force of a cell as well as the cell's internal resistance that we can measure through the potentiometer. If we measure the EMF then we use the potentiometer. It is also used to compare the EMF of the various cell. The most of most applications it is also used as a variable resistors. These potentiometers are widely employed in the production of the electronic equipment that allows user to alter electrical circuit to achieve the desired output. So, by varying the value we can get the desired output. All, although its most obvious applications must be for volume control on the radios and other audio related electronic equipments. Now, the potentiometer have pin out. Now, the trimpot potentiometer spin as we see we will see in the diagram that these potentiometers come, come in a variety of the forms that have three leads. That three leads we have in the potentiometer and these components are simple to install on a breadboard for a prototype. This potentiometer has a knob or top of it that may be tuned to adjust the value. You have seen in the many electronic gadgets then there is a knob which can be tuned accordingly that will be used to uh, low the uh, voltage or just increase the voltage or increase the current or low the current. So, you see on the screen that there is a uh, potentiometer and this potentiometer has a pin. The first pin is the fixed end and this fixed end one can be connected to one of the resistive 
path's end. You see left hand side this is a pin 1 that is a fixed and that is connected to the resistive path ends. and uh, the, the, in between there is a resistive path. Second pin is a variable end that uh, the right end that, that, that on the between the first and third pin that is a variable and this changeable end can be connected to the wiper to give the variable voltage. This will give the variable voltage. Now the pin third that is a fixed end on the right hand side and this is the second fixed end end can be connected to the resistive part other will finish the resistive part. From the one resistive path start and for the third resistive path will end and in between that there is a second pin that is a viper also that is a slider that is also called a slider that will move on the resistive path. That the resistive five you are seeing on the screen that there is a resistive on which the wiper or the pin 2 variable and the pin 2 or the variable pin will move. Now, necessity of the selection of the potentiometer. Why would we select the potentiometer? Potentiometer come in a variety of the shapes and sizes. Also, their selection based upon the specific requirement or the output we required. First is the structure's requirement. Second is a resistance to change characteristics that how much resistance we require and how much change we can do in the resistance. The potentiometer can be selected based on the needs of its application and the circuit requirement. What is the working principle of the potentiometer? The fundamental working standard of this depends on the way that the fall of the potential across any piece of the wire is straightforwardly relative to the length of the wire if the wire has a uniform uniform cross sectional reason and the consistent flow moving through it. So, when there is no expected dis distinction between any two halves there is electric flow will stream. So, presently the potential meter wire is really a wire with a high resistivity with uniform cross sectional area that is the A. Then according to all through the wire it has a uniform position. So, we apply the Ohm's law here presently this potential terminal associated with the with the with the high EMF that is the V. And uh, and the that and is called the driver cell and the voltage sources that the current through the potentiometer is I and R is the all out uh, obstruction of the potentiometer. So, uh, for using the Ohm's law, we can write it as V is equal to I R, and we would know that R is equal to rho L by A. So, rho L by A, then we can write it as the V is equal to I. A rho L by A. We put the value of the using the Ohm's line, we put the value of R as rho and A always constant and current uh, I is kept constant constant by a rheostat. So we can write it as L rho by A is equal to K constant. The right hand side value that is the rho L A is equal to K will be the constant. Now, the value will be the V is equal to voltage is equal to K into L. K is the constant and L will be vary. So, that we can write it. Assume that uh, that is cell E with a lower EMF then the driver cell is added to the circuit as indicated. Let we say EMF is equal to E then potentiometer has new now the potentiometer have the uh, have the EMF that is that will be the E is equal to L rho x divided by A. As we are taking the length of the wire is the A x. So, then we write it as E is equal to L rho x by A is equal to k x that we can write it as because all the term is equal to k that is L rho by A is equal to k. So, we will put it here. So, E is equal to k x. When this cell is connected to the appropriate length in a circuit then no current will flow through the galvanometer since the potential meter difference is equal to the 0 as we see in the 
bridge also. First we check in the rheostat, the current is flowing. So as a result, the galvanometer G displays null deflection. As the length X is then referred to as the null point length. Now, uh, now if the constant K and the length X, we can solve the many problems related to that and we can find, find out the EMF if we know the K value, if we know the if we know the L value, X value, then we can find out the EMF by using the formula L into rho into X divided by A or is equal to K into X. Now the second EMF of the two cell may be compared by assuming that the first cell of EMF E1 null point at the length L1, the second cell having the EMF E2 and the null point at L2. So we can compare the compare the uh, EMF of the two cells that will be E1 by E2 is equal to L1 by L2. So uh, on this way we can calculate the EMF, we compare the uh, compare the EMF of the two cells. Now next we will discuss how does a potentiometer work. Potentiometer is a passive electronic component and uh, pot potentiometer work by varying the position of the sliding the contact across a uniform resistance. So in the potentiometer the entire input voltage is applied across the whole length of the register. And the output voltage is the voltage drop between the fixed and the sliding contact. So, as we see on the screen that here we can calculate the output voltage. You see, this is the input voltage but the output voltage the decide by the sliding contact you see here. So, potentiometer has a two terminal of the input source fixed to the end of the resistor. This is the resistor in between that and the both the side we are having a input voltage. Now, by adjusting the output voltage by sliding the uh, by sliding sliding the contact or uh, that is also the wiper. Now, we just change this by moving this and we can get the output of along this register. So, a potentiometer has a two terminal of the input source fixed to the end of the register and to adjust the output voltage the sliding contact gets to move along the register on the output side. So, this is the different to the rheostat. Now, you see here in the rheostat uh, where here we are having a one end is fixed and the sliding terminal is connected to the circuit as we are seeing in this diagram. Now left hand side you see that the one is fixed and other but in this you are seeing the both are connected with the input voltage here one connected with the only one side is connected. So this is very basic instrument used for comparing the EM of the, the two cells and uh, for calibrating ammeter, voltmeter and the wattmeter. So, basic working principle of, of potentiometer is very simple. You see on the screen then there is a uh, galvanometer. You will check the uh, deflection in the galvanometer. Now, here they having the, we will find the EMF of the two cells. So, suppose we have connected the two batteries in the parallel as you see in the diagram through the galvanometer. The negative battery terminal, the negative battery terminal are connected to, together and the positive battery terminal are connected with the galvanometer. And uh, then the electric potential of both the battery cell is exactly the same. So there is no circulating current in the circuit. Hence the galvanometer show the null deflection. The working principle of the potential, the, the working principle of the potentiometer depends on this phenomena. First we will find out the null deflection. Now another circuit where the battery is connected across the rheostat. Now you see here there is a battery which is connected with the source battery connected with the rheostat and why I switch, uh, why I switch and the uh, rheostat. You see here uh, rheostat here the value is def defined here then by moving this we can find out. Now another circuit where a battery is connected across a resistor as via the switch and a rheostat. You see here, there with the rheostat there is a galvanometer is attached that will be 
another circuit of the potentiometer now the uh, register has a uniform electrical resistance per unit length throughout its length as it depends upon the length and the value will be change when we move the slider towards the rheostat then the voltage drop per unit length of the rheostat uh, of the register is equal throughout the length now we adjusting the rheostat we get v volt volt a uh, voltage drop appearing per unit length of the resistor so the positive terminal of the positive terminal of a cell is connected to the point a on the resistor and the negative terminal same is connected with the galvanometer so other end of the galvanometer is in con contact with the resistor by a sliding contact and by adjusting this sliding end the point a point one point will be found that will be named as a b is found where there is no current through the galvanometer and that will be the there we will got no deflection that will be the null point uh, it means that the emf of the standard cell is just uh that 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 just balanced by the voltage appearing in the resistor across the points a and b so the distance between a or b is equal to l then we can we can write the emf like e is equal to lv l is the length v is the voltage so uh, this is how a potentiometer measures the voltage between the two points without taking any current component from the circuit this is a specially a potentiometer it can measure the voltage most accurately next is the uh, next is there are the two main types of the potentiometer how many types of potentiometer basically we define the two main types other types of potentiometers also available but we will discuss the two type one is the rotary potentiometer second is the linear potentiometer although basic construction feature of these potentiometer vary in the working principle of the both these potential are same these potentiometers working uh, principle are same but the construction different so first we will discuss the rotary potentiometer what is this rotary potentiometer meter this rotary type potentiometer are used mainly for obtaining adjustable supply voltage to a part of electronic circuit and electrical circuit what does it mean that we can get the adjustable or we can get the desired a voltage output through this rotary potentiometer the volume control of the radio transistor is the popular example of the rotary potentiometer as we have seen that we just use the the rotation type of knob in the radio or in the in the volume side then it will increase and decrease the decrease the uh, voltage or we will, will tune the channel that type of or we increase the volume that type of uh, that type of uh, potentiometer is called the rotary potentiometer we are discussing the potentiometers we will further continue this in the next lecture thank you very much